Hello guys, welcome to our Discovery Instincts channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how to survive tick bites. So before moving ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. And let's get started. You are out walking in the forest today. You are startled to feel something that itches like crazy. After scratching it, you discover a rash over your body that looks like a red bull's eye. When you look at it more closely, you see a tiny hole that hurts. Your life can be in jeopardy if you don't react immediately to the situation. That might be a tick bite. Tick bites can cause serious diseases like Lyme disease, anaplasmosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and so on. Don't worry, we got you covered on these 5 discovery instincts tips on surviving tick bites. 1. Put on the right clothing. Wearing light-colored clothing is a good idea when entering a tick-infested environment. It helps determine any tick sticking on you, as they frequently resemble a small piece of soil. Additionally, long sleeves, pants, socks, or boots should be worn. Also, you can spray your clothing with insect repellent to ensure ticks will not get attracted to your body. Always wear work gloves when performing yard labor. 2. Regularly check for ticks on your body. If you are hiking or gardening, check yourself for tick bites every 2 to 4 hours. Typically, it takes 4 hours for a tick to start biting you. Since tick bites are painless and do not produce fluid like other insect bites, you must actively seek them out. Ticks typically bite the back of the neck, scalp, and uncovered arms and legs. These insects will remain attached to you until they have completed feeding, which can take anywhere from a few hours to several days. 3. Remove the tick appropriately from your body. Do not panic if you detect a tick on your body. Neither should rubbing alcohol be used to suffocate it. The most effective approach to remove a tick is with tweezers. Grab the tick where it is stuck to your skin, and then pull it out. Be careful to gently and securely pull. Additionally, do not twist or shake the tick, as its mouth parts are like barbed wires that will dig into your body. And if you strain its body, it may spew infected blood into your system. Who wishes to be going around with tick vomit that is infected? After removing the insect, wash the affected part thoroughly with soap and water. 4. Inspect for tick infestation, check for tick infestations on your items by moving a white cloth with a coarse texture through potential tick habitats. If the fabric accumulates several ticks, there is an infestation. As a general rule, the tidier your yard is, the less probable it is to be plagued with ticks. And if you apply a pesticide to your yard, concentrate on shrubs, thick grass, and unreachable regions of overgrowth. 5. Keep the ticks for medical examination. Once the tick has been removed from your body or house items, place it in a plastic bag. Ticks can transmit numerous diseases, such as Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Lyme Disease, and Powassan Virus. Therefore, keeping the tick will assist the doctors in determining the bacterium or virus carried by the tick. Be on the lookout for a rash, chills, fever, joint discomfort, or any red stains or yellow fluid flowing from the bite, as tick bites can be dangerous. And there you have it. Tick bites can cause very serious health issues. Therefore, care is highly advised to ensure you survive tick bites if you are in an area that is infested with ticks. Following these tips will ensure you are safe from tick bites. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe, comment, like and hit the bell icon to be notified about upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Check out this next Discovery Instincts video.